What's up guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, a first look, first impressions. Yesterday I bought the Apple Watch Ultra. A couple of weeks ago, about a month ago, I purchased the iTouch Air 3 on the right, $60 at Target. There are a couple of issues, not major, but minor annoyances. And so, you know what? I've been working really hard and I wanted something really nice, expensive, top of the line smartwatch, the Apple Watch Ultra at $7.99. But the main reason today we're reviewing the Apple Watch Ultra and upgrading from the iTouch Air 3 is because I found that after wearing the iTouch Air 3 for a month is, of course, connection issues. So, the iTouch Air 3, the only problem that it has is about once a week it completely disconnects from my iPhone. Some of the settings when it disconnects on the iTouch Air 3 from my smartphone the settings get jumbled up and raised to wait turns off so I was having to tap it to turn it on. Just a bit cumbersome and annoying and kind of ugly but that being said I was getting used to it but at the same time I've been working really hard. The Apple Watch is something I've had before in the past. It's something I've worn but didn't really enjoy. Let's get into our first impressions of the Apple Watch Ultra. So, like I said, the reason I upgraded from the iTouch Air 3 for $60 was because of connection issues. After having worn the Apple Watch Ultra, what I can say is, in the past, not really crazy about Apple Watches in general, um, but with this being titanium, ceramic, and sapphire crystal, definitely good for dressing up, going out. What I really appreciate shopping for this watch is the fact it comes in one color and one color only. The Apple Watch Series 8, that comes in a variety of different colors. So picking one out, it's kind of like, well, would it look good this way, would it look good that way? So first impressions on the wrist, uh, this strap is extremely comfortable to adjust. And even though it's kind of tight on my wrist right now, uh, not uncomfortable anyway. And that's thanks to this strap, which sort of provides a layer of cushion, expands and contracts very nicely. It's got some elastic inside, you know, to make sure you get all those uh, accurate beats per minute readings and blood oxygen level readings, because with a loose watch, it doesn't pick up on that stuff as well. So first thing is first on the wrist, uh, the wallpapers are just above and beyond. If you long press on the home screen here, um, we can go through a couple of my other watch faces. So uh, this one I plan on using at work at night. I've got two jobs. This one I plan on using at my one job because the color schematic here, green and black, actually matches the color schematic of the restaurant that I work at. So this one I think will be pretty cool to wear at work. But one thing the iTouch Air 3 did better was display the beats per minute. As you can see, it's constant there in the lower right-hand corner. And on the Apple Watch Ultra, it's an app that you have to go into. And briefly, back to what I was saying earlier about this watch being so sleek and so sharp looking, I wish it had a different band. That, I think, is best shown uh, with this chronometer, very minimal and almost kind of art deco looking, uh, but also at the same time, I think space age um, would really be interesting. I think this watch face paired with a different style band, but as you can see, pretty congruent. Uh, the watch band itself is like a gray, black, dark uh, with the orange pull tab and then as you can see orange seconds and date i like to order my faces by time of day so this one uh is just a modular phase i think this one is called like i said i group these by day and sometimes at night i'm active so a nighttime face it's dark the red is a really cool undertone um what have liked the earth to have more color it's an all gray with a little bit of red shadow um, which makes it look more like Mars and this one 
I can't wait actually to get to work in the morning at my second job. It's a really cool style with the numbers contoured around the edges of this sort of square oval display. Rounded to the corners, straight on the side. So that was a quick first impressions, first look summary of the functionality of the Apple Watch Ultra. I took you along and showed you my watch faces. Pretty simple thing to do, but I think what's actually the best about this watch is the fact it's got the premium look, feel, fit, and finish, but lightweight and sporty like the aluminum. And because it's the Apple Watch, it's got all the features and the best display, the brightest display, what's really cool and most colorful display is that you can change the watch face and how I like to use my watch faces is by time of day. So I like to use lighter colored faces during the day and darker colored faces at night. I think you picked up on that. Uh, nonetheless, uh, out of this world when it comes to watch faces and the functionality is pretty good as well. More on that later though, because that's a topic for another video, the ergonomics of the watch. Otherwise, as far as functionality goes, telling the time, tracking your heart rate, using the blood oxygen level. Using the watch as a GPS, which is one of the main selling points, is great and can be integrated into any of the watch faces and can be worn really at any time of the day to let you access all those great features. So really worth it. And I think the watch faces really drive that point home. Okay guys, you know what to do. Hit that like button subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notified when we post YouTube, share this video with friends and family, and be sure to comment down below your questions and comments. I'll be making more videos in the future about this watch. The next video I tend to make will address the ergonomics and the functionality of the watch itself. It's advertised as being a fit, sports, athletic, rugged oriented, outdoor type tool. So what's important, I think, is that we address that. A couple of things I've noticed so far with the action button and the multitasking button and the digital crown sort of getting in the way, making things a little bit difficult from time to time. So again, until I figure that out, we'll address that in the next video. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this first impressions. Somewhat of a review because at the time I made this video, I had worn the watch for two days. So... Hit that like button, subscribe. Thanks again so much for tuning in because I picked this up at Best Buy that makes this a big box good. My name is John. I will see you in the next video.